so you understand the importance of audio in video production. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to use the GH4, how to set it up right, so you get the perfect audio possible with the Rode Video Micro 2. Let's go! The first setup that you like to use this kind of microphone to use with your GH4 is the vlog style. Okay, so you are holding the camera. Not ideally with the GH4, but possibly you have a smaller camera like the G85, G95, those kind of camera. You might want to use it as a, a vlog and it's a shotgun only a, what, roughly half a meter, one arm length away from where you are. So this is how you will set up your audio. So a vlog style. Now go to your GH4 settings and go to audio, set the level at minus 9 dB. The GH4, my camera, is very hot. You start from there, minus 9, then you do a, an audio test. So spin around the camera, have the flip the screen, flip out, and do a test, a self-test of the audio quality. You can see it, but you can't see it properly. Then do a test shot and listen to the audio quality before you go further. It only takes 30 seconds to do this process and it saves you a lot of trouble in the future. Post processing process. Ideally, you want your meter, the audio meter to hit, to hit minus 12 dB decibel all the time. So that's the best for vocal. So that's the, your target right there, minus 12 dB. Now with the GH4, usually I usually go all the way down to minus 12 dB in your settings. Otherwise, it's gonna clip the microphone. Right now, the one I'm using right now, as a headshot, boom position, I set the audio level to minus 12 on the GH4. So it still come out very hard because I'm very close. The microphone is very close to me. Just above me, 30 centimeter to 50 centimeter away from the cam, from my mouth. Okay, roughly that, that size, that width. So not that far. That should give you the best audio quality possible. Now that you have set your, the right level in the camera, now you just start re-locking. Perfect, right? Another scenario that you like to use your video mic go is a, as a boom position to, for talking head, this kind of shot right here for YouTube content creation. So it's very really close to where I'm sitting right now. So you should get the best audio quality possible out of this shotgun microphone. It was just a $99 microphone, by the way. So you can check the video I had done of the sort of review over here. Now, the way you set it up is you first have the microphone in the shot. First up, you got to frame your shot first. So have a clear background, whatever you want to frame. Now, have the, have the microphone into in the shot. From then, you adjust the microphone just above the frame, just out of the frame a little bit. And that should give you the best possible audio quality. Also, do an audio test as well. Okay, don't be too lazy. As a boom position as well, make sure you do an audio, audio test and check your, the, the level in the camera. Otherwise, you're gonna have a lot of problem. You don't know what is the setup like each and every time. Make this have a test shot as your habit each and every time when you do any video production. GH4 preamp is really hard. So you have to play around with your position of how far you want the microphone to be. Right now, I'm just just above me, but that is a perfect scenario. Since the GH4 preamp is really hot, you have to adjust the mic level so it hit the minus 12 dB. Your goal is not to clip the audio. Once the audio is clipped, forget about it. Yeah? You have to do another take. So that's why I, I always suggest people to do a test shot. Take 30 seconds out of the beginning of any shoot and do a test shot. It only takes you maximum 30 seconds. Would not take you that long to do a test. Guess what, my friend? Now you just need to press record and you are ready to go. 
if you are a content creator, you know that audio is half the story of video. In this video, I'll share with you two ways you can use the video mic go. Okay, one is as a vlog style and one is a boom position. But experienced videographer, filmmaker knows that redundancy audio recording is very important. Now you can check that video out here if you want to learn how to do redundancy audio recording. Right now I'm doing a redundancy audio recording. Right there, you can see it, okay? And right there, I'll, I'll say boom position. I'll see you next time with another video. Bye.